Hello, this is Surge165 broadcasting live from the kitchen, and I have found out that there is a weird problem with the last video that I uploaded. The audio cuts out until about, I don't know, a minute in, where I'm rambling about something I forgot I was rambling about. I think it had to do with my Wix site. Uh, so, I will pick up where I left off, I guess. Off, I guess. The Wix site is now live, and you are able to purchase artwork from it. Uh, the store that I'm using only allows 10 products on the free package, which means that I will only be able to display those 10 works of art for sale at the moment, which is fine, because if I make enough, I'll be able to pay for whatever level of helium-inducing thing comes next, which is interesting. So yeah, with that out of the way, I'll uh, be putting slides up of the different pictures offered, and if any of you would like a physical print because I have the means and the ability to print 8 by 8 and a half by 11 or whatever A4 quality and photo quality prints of my artwork please let me know through the PM system or my email in the contact form on the website just put in the header that you want such and such a print of such and such picture and toss me 1899 plus three dollars shipping and handling just to handle all that fun stuff because they're probably going to have me uh, put it in a bubble pack or something like that. Um, so anyway, the other thing that I was going to discuss and I'm going to discuss now is that I have had it in my mind to do a Five Nights at Freddy's fan film what if type of synopsis inspired by the works of Bandit Incorporated, the way he likes to surmise what a movie would be like and write his own fan fiction-y type scripty thing that takes about a week or a week or two to shoot, give or take, uh, and hours and hours of render time to do his animations. I also know how to do that. I went to graphics school in the early 2000s and I learned how to use all the fun technical gadgets. So I would like to try my paw or hand at that, as it were. Um, I'm also shooting on both my mobile phone platform and on my regular laptop, so the video is going to look weird because what I'm going to do is have the have it switch views every once in a while, kind of like in an extra normal video. I used to be I used to do those a lot. Uh, they shut their site down, which really sucks. But in any case, on the topic at hand, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, for those of you who do not know, is a um, independent mobile and PC survival horror game where you play as a night watchman or a night guard in US English at an establishment that is a ripoff of Chuck E. Cheese, at least I'm surmising it is, um, called called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And your job is to sit there and make sure that the animatronics don't get you by opening and closing the doors, flashing the lights, and you're supposed to last uh, about six six in-game hours and during that time your power, energy, and flashlight battery in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 goes out or is running out and you have to really make split-second decisions on what you're going to do to ward off the animatronics because if one of them gets you it'll stuff you into a suit and you'll wind up dying and that's how you lose a life. I've heard that there are some differences in the mobile game from the PC game. Like, I think at one point there was supposed to be a toxicity meter and a life counter, so you had a certain number of lives before being kicked back to the game start splash screen. And that whole game is blown up and has become a sensation here on YouTube, aka U-Turd with like five different people who literally make a living off of playing this game and overreacting to the jump scares. Um, there was also a video made by Alpha Omega Sin that alerted us all to the fact that the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, Scott, I can't remember his last name, actually made so much money that he donated to a children's hospital, which was really awesome. Rock on, both of you. Uh, and I was thinking to myself at work one day, as I am a janitor, and you'll probably see a picture pop up here, 
of me being a janitor because everyone on the planet is obsessed with what I with what I do for a day job. I don't understand the obsession, but that's fine. So that all you guys know on YouTube, I am a janitor, and no, I don't have to clean up any haunted animatronics that are going to try to get me, which would make uh, the job even you know more epic and heart pounding. Although there are they are allowed to bring their pets to work, and I get a lot of fur child love, which is always good. They like me, and apparently the dogs have a thing for the taste of environmentally friendly cleaner, which is hilarious. But anyway, I was cleaning, and I don't know if the environmentally friendly chemicals got to me, but I have the mind of a film director and screenwriter. I don't know if very many of you know this. It's one of my special interests, as they're now politically correctly called. Um, at one point in my life, I did want to be a director, so... I suppose when I see a game, an indie game like Five Nights at Freddy's, it goes, Oh, this needs to be, my brain goes, this needs to be a movie. Well, I've been thinking about that, and knowing, knowing what I know about the lore and the background and such that I gleaned mostly from the 8-bit gaming guys, here's a shout out to you, love your videos, Ryan and Ryan, other Ryan here, you're hilarious, um, there's a lot of backstory and a lot of lore, and there's a lot of interesting things that are to note around the game, aside from, of course, it's gameplay and lore. You never see the main character. You never see Mike Schmidt or Jeremy Fitzgerald. And the other thing is that there's a strange continuity flop where Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is a prequel to Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So I think that that would be the basis for the first film if I were to make this into a movie. So here's the game plan as far as that goes. You don't really see Mike Schmidt. It is always filmed from over his shoulder or behind him or it's in his mind so it's kind of in, an internal thing or you see through his eyes and you are you go through the interview process and all this happens at the beginning when he's driving to work you see him pour the coffee he puts the news on he's driving to work and he remembers you know getting glimpses and gleams and flashbacks of him going into work you know having the interview as he's driving to work sorry I screwed up there um, so as that happens, he sets up his table, he sets up everything, the phone rings, and the phone guy gives his usual spiel on the first night. So that's the first night. And then all the scary stuff happens, and he has to make sure that he doesn't get attacked by and jump-scared by the animatronics. So everything kind of goes well until night three. Before night three, there is a news report about a possible investigation at Freddy Fazbear's and I use the news reports that are kind of playing in the background to delve out the lore behind Five Nights at Freddy's. So he's getting scared out of his wits. He goes to work during night three. His power starts draining. Everything starts going to heck and he starts hallucinating and seeing those posters that are seen in the first Five Nights at Freddy's game detailing the missing children incident and so he really dreads going to work on night four and when he does his caffeine level drops so he starts getting tired so he starts hallucinating so that works in the hallucinations as well as the drafts in the air vent that's more of a Five Nights at Freddy's 2 thing but to keep things going I'll have a reference to that here and he keeps having muddled flashbacks of the news reports and seeing in his mind the incidences that are played out in the death mini games, give gifts, give life, and take cake to the children, where the children are abducted, one of them is killed by the presumable purple man, and so on and so forth. When he snaps out of it, he remembers that he is supposed to be actually on duty. It's 5 a.m. He's about to give out. Um, he, get, he stays on duty. Everything that he works for, you know, starts slowing up. He starts getting wobbly. He can't really focus. And again, it's, those images are played back kind of slowly, like in a creeper film style. And then on night... Five, he loses it, but it's never actually out, outrightly shown. 
that he loses it. You can just see, you can hear his his heartbeat go da 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 da, -da and his you know breathing as he starts hyperventilating as these animatronics start walking around like they're after him. So that's what I have so far, not written down yet. I haven't gotten a chance to sit down because I've had to do a lot of functional things like, you know, get my eyes looked at by the eye doctor and getting a new pair of specs. And since these things have seen better days, I thought I would take care of that. But that's my idea for a Five Nights at Freddy's film, which I would call Freddy Fazbear's. I can go into what the second half of it would be about. It'd be, it's divided into two halves, with FNAF 1 being the first half, and then FNAF 2 being the obvious prequel, with Mike Schmidt. So I will blab at you guys later. Uh, take care. Happy, bittersweet, good Friday, and enjoy the blood moon. Surge 165 over and out.